Fari <laughs> Hamzy, founder of Hamzy Analytics, joins us every Wednesday, bringing his wealth of knowledge on aggressive equity options and index futures trading. Tell us about your trip to Montana. Hi, Joel. Hi, Dennis. Uh, great to be back. Well, I have two words for you. Sell UAL. Oh, oh the well. what a disaster. Oh, well, what did they, they, they strand you? Experience. Did they uh, strand both you? ways. Both ways. Going and coming back. Yeah, Come on. yeah, yeah. Really? Well, you know, this is their, this is their main headquarters here, right? On, on the Wackers, you know, tall uh, corporate headquarters. They own the concourse at, uh, the, uh, at uh, O'Hare. They changed our gates three times before they could board us on the way out. So we, I missed my uh, um, connection in Denver. Had to stay there three extra hours uh, and got, get the last flight landing in that almost freezing weather in Billings, Montana. So that was that was the outbound. Um, while I was there, it was awesome. It was it's Montana, you know, fourth uh, uh, largest state in terms of uh, square square footage and uh, lowest number of uh, population. So. It's pristine. It's great. It's especially this time of year. Uh, it, 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 the city is incredible. Now, some areas had a little bit of snow. I sent some uh, pictures on uh, Twitter. A uh, bunch of people followed it and retweeted it. it it's beautiful. What do you go skiing uh, out a, there, or hiking, or what do you do? Uh, there is uh, there's, there's a lot of hunting going on there. There's a lot of uh, 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 rafting goes on. Um, you can hike. You can definitely hike the beautiful sceneries, and uh, yeah, there's Yellowstone is there, so it's quite a bit of activity there. I went there because my niece was graduating uh, cum laude uh, from uh, uh, Montana State in mathematics, and so uh, the family all got together. We were very proud of her, and you know, congratulated her for this milestone, and wish her moving forward. Is that uh, is that your sister's daughter, the one that you got out of Tesla or something? No, no, no. She doesn't have kids. This is my brother's uh, okay. daughter. This is the smart one in the family. He did the VPN. He has a patent to VPN on Microsoft Platform. Oh, okay. All right, Mari. Uh, Fari, what do you think? Mari, about Mari. <laughs> you know what? We got to, you know, for some of the people. We got to do a show like that, Joel, you and I. We both be Mari. How's that? Could you tell Mari the Mary, and Mari show. Could you tell the Mary, Mary story Mary. again? Because you got some new listeners here, and you always talk about Mary. And uh, could you just give us a refresher on, sure, on sure. who Mary sure, is? Sure, sure. A- absolutely. I lived at the right adjacent area of Beverly Hills uh, for about, oh, about 10 years in Los Angeles, which is called Little Haifa. It's an ethnic uh, uh, area, mainly uh, from uh, Israel. And uh, many, many friends I, I've had, uh, we live f- fairly close to each other. Um, from Jewish faith, and th- that area, it's it, it's called Little Haifa. Um, and then the, the, I had a good friend who worked for the Chicago Title Company, and he, I think his mom, his mom is Roman Catholic, his father is Jewish. So he, I was new to that area. He one day took me out. He said, "Listen, we're going to go for a walk here. You got to understand the neighborhood." And as we walk into a one of the stores, he says, "Sorry, just call me Murray." That don't, his name is Terry Engel. So don't call me Terry. Just call me Murray. Okay? Just for a few minutes. So he starts this spiel in there. And now he starts answering me, calling me Murray. So we're both Murray and Murray. <laughs> Anyhow, the, 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 the routine stuck. So every once in a while, every six months, every year, on a Sunday, especially on a Sunday, because some of the stores are open, um, we would walk down there and just refresh you know, of uh, ourselves, of the merchants in the neighborhood. And, you know, great food, great uh, uh, restaurants, great, uh, you know, shopping area. It's, it's, it's just, uh, you know, it's, it's got its own character. Now, I have a, a tr- trader with me from that area, from L.A., that uh, behaves very much like Marianne Murray, which is, uh, it's also one of my, uh, uh, con- uh, what do you call it, container indicators. When, when he gets too excited that the prices are really coming his way. He's going to be doing that. 
I usually want to take the other side of the trade. So. <laughs> okay. All right. A good explanation there. So what are you making of these markets here? Uh, you know, I bet you we're not too far out in uh, Sigma land. You're getting these inner day moves that are pretty crazy. Uh, you know, is there anything you lead in one way or oh. another in the S&Ps? Well, first of all, I did trade the S&P uh, uh, for non-farm payroll out in uh, Montana. I was on limited bandwidth and uh, just a, a laptop and a Surface Pro 3. And if you look at a pattern, again, I got in late yesterday, and I had quite a bit of stuff go through, but just briefly looking at the charts, both last night and a little bit this morning, the, pa- the, the key for me, again, is where, the, where is the canary in the coal mine? And the transportation index and Russell. Neither of the two are confirming what else is going on in the SPX and NDX, especially Russell. Now, Reg FD were long some, uh, I believe, June puts, put spreads on I, IWM, the ETF for Russell. Uh, if you come back to uh, SMP, you're absolutely right. We're not, we haven't done anything spectacular. We're at, uh, we closed yesterday at 0 sig. Uh, the Sigma channels themselves are getting flat and parallel with each other. That means the volatility is getting sucked out of the market. And if you go into a similar type of a chart, you know, Sigma chart, for uh, VIX, you'll see we're back on uh, just a tad over uh, uh, zero sig, if you will, fair value. Uh, fair, there is ter- uh, zero sig is 1338. Last night we closed 1386. In terms of patterns of the spikes, we hit our four sig on, I was here, I believe, yeah, f- uh, on the sixth, yes. On uh, Wednesday, which was uh, uh, yeah, five six was a Wednesday. Uh, the, uh, we we, we, we go today it, exactly to the tick, Joel. If you draw the the candle in a, in a, in a, in a candlestick pattern, the the wick, the top of the wick hits four sigma, which is typically uh, a first exhaustion of a volatility shock wave, and now we should have another attempt with a, on the market itself. To have a spike down, but with the lower VIX in terms of sigma levels, not the values, but sigma levels. That part, then we're going to go back up again. Unfortunately, this market is very artificial. You know, we don't have a healthy uh, uh, adjustment here, and you know the, the the powers of buy and sell are both gone. That's why we have so low, so much low volume, uh, uh, no energy trading, and that's why also day trading is very difficult. It's not, and it's not for everyone right now what about individual stocks what's on your radar here right now you came in jokingly uh not liking ual but what what are what's on your radar here for today here sure 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 first of all i i i i guess like said that was just the experience of how horrible yeah. they were um and on the way back we got we got stuck again in denver uh, that was another <laughs> delay this i got stranded Edinburgh. i got stranded in chicago once with ual too so right uh, they had I, a bird strike. Like actually this was technical they had a bird strike so they had to stop the plane and you know, inspect it before it goes back on. So that was a, and with the scarcity of the f- air- aircraft, that's the problem. Like they need more equipment. It's not just UAL. All of them do. The financial engineers have figured out how to do almost perfect load factoring. And this way they're profitable. And the, 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 the sad part is the passengers and the sources. They take the a brunt of this. I have, the, uh, of- I have the, cal- the calendar day rule for airlines. As long as I get there the same calendar day that I'm scheduled to, then I consider it on time. Fair enough. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. But you're patient. I'm not. So, <laughs> okay. All but, right. Um, what do you okay. got for now, us, So I, I want to say this. I don't trade any airlines. That was just a comment from my own experience. Yeah. But one of the stewards that said, if you he asked me what I do and so forth, and I had my, unfortunately, I had my Hams and Alex polo shirt on. So he <laughs> says, you know, if you if you can say something about this, we would like to. So here we are, uh, and, and kind of like a national forum, whatever, because we are fed up too. But anyhow, moving forward, I don't believe in trading in the airlines. They have done it. all these airlines have done a great job, but overall, I'm kind of a gecko on airlines. I, I don't like the unions, and the fuel costs can kill me. So I'm not into that. But go. Let's talk about Tesla. Uh, yeah. We did close our position. Um, I I can I think. Uh, Sure. Were you there when I recommended it on the, uh, the other program called the Stocks and Jocks? 
Uh, I forget. The, the second best radio sports uh, or the stock radio show? Yeah, um, I think yeah. I did. So you, you had a call spread on, right, in that? We had a call spread on, and uh, I get a flash message on our U- VLF channel. This is the Navy talk, uh, if you have watched the Crimson Tide. So I got a flash message on a ULF channel in, uh, uh, in Montana from uh, one of my uh, 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 moderators saying, Sorry, we're, we're in the end zone on Tesla. Can I can I launch the exit? I said sure. Just give me the numbers in my head first. She goes over them. I said yeah, go, because I I was not near anything. You know, barely text was coming in a character at a, at a time, just exactly like uh, yeah, USS Alabama. So I said let's go, and they got out. I believe that they got out. Was it Monday morning? Yeah, they got out Monday morning. We got a little bit more push yesterday. Uh, I don't know what they're doing now. I think, I think it looks like it's a little bit. Uh, 247. So we're up another 1% overnight. Yeah. Yeah. Well, hallelujah. Welcome to America. Here's the, here's the stock that everybody wrote it off. Oh, about, was it three weeks ago? They yeah. said, watch out. It's going to crater and all that. Yeah. yeah. And by the way, it did after the, uh, uh, the, the open, the cash open of next day, you know, post ER, it hit our number was, which was 237. Uh, uh, but, uh, but I think you guys probably got a copy of it. I'm not sure. But uh, that was what the order was to our uh, people and uh, to our traders. But uh, after next morning, they crushed it, and I got a little bit worried. Uh, but uh, these are these are these are uh, these are late May's. I think late May 29th. So we wanted to get out there as as early as we could because we have some. Uh, you know, we have a couple of trades that are not good. We have to take those losses this week, which is our May. There's nothing we can we cannot repair them. That's the problem. Uh, and uh, they were from the uh, 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 the uh, earnings season, you know, like AXP. That, and so I'm I'm trying to book as much uh, uh, black ink as possible because I got covered as red ink. Uh, what what what, what the stock do you guys want me to look at? I want to look at Apple here too because I've been looking at this Apple chart and this 125 level has been like a magnet for the last month. It just can't seem to get away from it. It is up at 126.20 here in the pre-market, but multiple lows right in the 125 area. A little bit mm-hmm. if you're looking in the last month here, a little bit of a head and shoulders there for me. Not that I'm a big pattern trader here, but what are your mm-hmm. thoughts on Apple going forward as it keeps hanging out around 125? Uh, well, the, 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 the rate of the uh, deceleration has slowed itself, okay, which is positive. So try in simple chart language is basic. I'm just looking at the slope and color yep. of CI. Yep. Uh, in terms of sigma levels, we we went to plus three uh, on the 28th. Head okay? of the earnings which, report. Uh, correct. Uh, we almost hit four sigma, and of course, if you recall, that day was a big sell day, and. Uh, we, we took at least one loss on that one, I believe, uh, because we may have had, no, we, I'm sorry, we, we, we closed one trade, we put another trade on, but of course, the one that we trade was coming into it, which was a, you know, uh, you know, it's just no, it's just a, no luck. I mean, it's, 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 I mean, no skill is all luck. You just p- kind of pick it and usually it goes, uh, pre earning. But the sell there was very hard. The next two days, we also had red bars. So you have now three solid bars. Went from plus three sigma to minus one sigma. So what's the travel? One, two, three, almost four, yeah, a little bit over four channels move. That's huge. So that should be, I think, the test there we should watch for. And the price there, the low that day, 124.58. So that will, that's where it would be my line in the sand, 124.58. Now, we have tested that four days in, since then, one, two. In eight days, we've tested four times. The CI beginning to flatten out. I think uh, here, or maybe slightly lower would be my buy. I may, I may just go actually play it. Put a little spread on. Keep in mind, the walls are low. The sigmas are very flat. So what does it tell us? It says that uh, uh, implied volatilities are cheap, are very low. So you could buy you know, some duration given over, you know, the price of a stock and the volatility generally it has. But the pattern is in, uh, I, I would say, you know, I wouldn't mind buying maybe a two month uh, call spread. I usually do one or less than that because of the earnings, but this is more of a hold. 
Uh, but I don't want to go beyond three because then I'm jumping over their next earning points. And why am I, I don't know what that's going to be. Why would I want to buy Theta? Why, why do I want to be long Theta that far? So I'll buy a month plus, maybe one to two months forward the uh, 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 call spread. Somewhere around uh, 125-ish area. Well, but with a 124, uh, 58, it would be ideal. I don't know, go down there. Uh, it might, it may not, but uh, something like that's what would entertain. Keep in mind, the key thing is the CI. It's beginning to uh, uh, flatten out, getting to about zero uh, uh, slope, and then as long as it's green and turns up, uh, it, it's a reasonably fair bet. Okay, Far, I want to get your take on uh, one more issue here before we let you go. Um, Alibaba uh, really caught people here. Everyone been leaning on the eighty dollar level, took it out, and then had the good earnings popped right. up here. I mean, are, are you would you chase this thing, or you think it's going to come back down to this gap area, and get a chance to pick it up on the cheap? Um, uh, here's the chart pattern it's in in terms of uh, CI versus Sigma Chow. The CI, which is the momentum and trend, says uh, uh, actually it's, it's shooting down a little bit still. Okay, it, it's getting softer and softer in terms of uh, uh, momentum, uh, but it's fairly fairly low there. It's about negative twenty three. You usually don't get much CIs on the dailies beyond negative twenty five or plus twenty five. So it, 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 believe it or not, this momentum is not there. It's been a very low momentum trade. If you go back, the big move in Alibaba was uh, right uh, 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 128, right before February. So it was January 28. Now, the fact that it went up and hit uh, price-wise, that uh, the top of the, uh, actually the, the, the open was at three sigma, that was earnings, and it sold. Now it's above plus one sigma. Okay, it's not a, a bargain price. Okay, because it has come down. It's not a bargain price, but it's trying to get into a channel. If it gets to a channel, which usually would sell a little bit more, given the negative 23 of CI, I would take a, a long position, actually. I would be, I, I would, I would, I would be comfortable to, to pay for it. Otherwise, I think uh, if the CI pattern continues, uh, and we follow the channel, uh, we're going to go back into 78 area. Okay, we've been on the line with Fari Hamzi. He's the founder of Hamzi Analytics. Joins the show every Wednesday, bringing his wealth of knowledge on aggressive equity options and index futures trading. Fari, a pleasure as always here. Get rested up from your trip, and we'll speak to you again next Wednesday. Thank you. Oh, great to be back.